All right, so I'm kind of concentrating on this one module here. It's kind of the heart of the machine. Um, let's see if we can't walk through the schematic here and make sense of it. So the uh, upper section here is an oscillator, and obviously there's a bunch of varactor diodes here. So this is a, a voltage-controlled oscillator. So the voltage comes in here, analog tuning comes in here and it, and it changes the frequency of this thing and, uh, and then it goes out. There's also a couple other paths in here. There's a calibration path. Here's a, here's a, here's a little potentiometer to adjust to slope and offset kind of things. Um, and then at the very bottom here is injected phase lock loop. So once you're close, this thing goes through a phase lock loop and then that error voltage comes back around and comes in here and also uh, changes the varactor diodes. Um, so we have uh, one, two, three, four of them in there. Um, so one of the um, concepts that uh, maybe is, is not, um, you're not used to, is uh, there is this line here, that's the metal can, uh, this, this, this metal can here, it's got a lid on it, but I've opened up the lid so we can see inside. And so that's the can. And then there are these pass-through capacitor feed-throughs here uh, to get you to the inside. Now, the, the strange concept, though, are these two inductors here. So uh, what goes on in here? Well, you have an oscillation here. You've got, you've got uh, some capacitors and some inductors, and they go into this particular uh, transistor here. And that's the oscillator. So this, this thing oscillates. But there's no connection to the outside world. Uh, the connection to the outside world has to do with this pickup coil and this pickup coil. So this, this picks up the RF energy and amplifies it. And this picks up the R RF energy and amplifies it. And you can see these two are basically identical. And um, one is used internally. It, it comes this away and then it goes into the, uh, the mixer down here. We'll get to that eventually. Um, and then another one just comes out. So we have two identical signals and one is used internal to the module and one goes out. And the output is supposed to be 0.1 volt leveled. And this is a little leveling circuit here. There's a diode and it comes around and that voltage gets compared to a potentiometer. And so this kind of levels it so it's always 0.1 volts going out, okay? All right, so then uh, this oscillator also comes around here, goes into a, a bridge mixer. So half of it comes in here, half of it comes in here. Those mix together and come, come out of this away. And then there's another uh, oscillator down here. Uh, here's a varactor and uh, some voltages and stuff. And this oscillates at a different frequency and these two frequencies are mixed together and that's what comes out. Okay, so now let's go take a look at the module and take a look at these pickup coils. Oops. Uh, these two, these two pickup coils. How does it do that? Okay, so it's in this box here, and the oscillator's over this away, and then the coils are over here. So I'm going to take a picture here and try to mark this up, and give you an idea of what those two pickup coils are. They're just inductors. Uh, they're just little. Um, I'm not sure what value they are. Uh, two inductors, and the two circuits use the same inductor, and they both do the same thing with it. It tickles the uh, base, and then uh, that gets uh, amplified and goes out. All right, we have uh, three connectors at the top, the, the mixed signal. Uh, this is the one oscillator, and this is the other oscillator. So I put these test wires on here, and they're gonna go over to my oscilloscope. They're gonna go into uh, uh, 50 ohm loads here. Um, if you looked at, if you remember the schematic, there's 47 ohms output, so it's a 50 ohm system. All right, so let's turn the voltage on and we get an oscillation. All right, so this is the uh, mixer, the output of the mixer. Okay, so this is the, uh, uh, signal and it is 0.1 volt peak to peak or uh, 0.2 volts peak to peak. It's uh, uh, 0.2 volts. All right. 
let me turn on channel two, which is the other pickup, that coil pickup, and it's supposed to output. It says on the schematic 0.2 volts peak to peak, which is what that one is. But we see we're getting nothing. The 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 uh, the other um, the other connector. This this is the, this is the one that's good. This is the one that's bad. There's 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 nothing coming out on that one. So there's something obviously amiss there. Um, it is a nice sine wave, and if I reach in, I'm going to show you what I do, what, what I'm doing here, but oopsie, uh, I am trying to, ooh, there we go, you see that? Uh, whoa! Okay, let me show you what I'm doing, can I get it all on camera? No, I can't. Uh, I'm just touching these two pins here. This is the input, the voltage input to the VCO, and if I touch one of those, you can see I can kind of I can kind of get it to change for a second, and then it does. Then it goes goes back out. It stabilizes again. So anyway, so the VCO is working, and we saw that the thing was able to change frequencies. Um, so I think the oscillator itself is working, and one of the pickup coils is working because it's getting out, but uh, the other pickup coil is not working. Okay, so what do I go? What do I do from here? How do I? How do I proceed? Um, a couple things. All right, let me turn power off here. Let's disconnect this for a second. All right. All right, so this is all RF magic from the 1960s. And these are the, the, uh, uh, the transistors I'm interested in. And the way that they're used is they're actually soldered directly to the PC board. And then there's a hole and it's all point to point wiring. So there's like a double sided board here. And this might even be, you know, I take it back. This is probably just steel <laughs> or tin or something. So there's just a hole in the tin. The, the transistor is just soldered to that. And then the legs poke up and then the legs get point to point wired inside. So in order for me to work on this thing, I believe it's this transistor here that's gone funny. That's my theory. I need to remove that and it's very, very difficult to do. It's going to be like microsurgery. Anyway, and these transistors are no longer available anywhere. It's a 2N5053. I did find some on eBay, some ordered some, and uh, we will give it a try. Let's see if we can't resurrect this thing.